Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is Ricky with Shoe Monster Tech, and today we are looking at the Civivi Brazen Tanto. This one was passed down to me through Apex Knife Passaround Group, so thanks guys so much for letting me check this out, and thanks to Civivi for letting us check this out. But before we get into the nitty gritties and all the goodies, guys, you guys go ahead and check out my Instagram page at Shoe Monster Tech. There you go. And uh, if you guys want to help support the channel, a little further um, you guys can get on my email just hit me up there and if you guys want to get one of these bad boys here I will get back with you all right cool well let's look into the specs on this one uh, overall length is eight inches even uh, blade length is 3.5 inches cutting edge is 3.375 inches uh, blade width is one inch even and the blade thickness is 0 0.12 inches uh, blade material is D2. Uh, we do have the Tanto on this guy here for your blade style. And the blade grind, it is flat. If you want to check that out there, there you go. Handle length is 4.5 inches. Handle width is 0 0.875 inches. Handle thickness is 0 0.48 inches. And yes, you got your black G10 uh, scales. And your liner is stainless steel. Uh, weight on here is 3.81 ounces, so yeah, it's not considered a lightweight carry. It's above that 3.0, but it's, it's pretty damn close, right? Um, user is right hand and left hand, so yes, you can switch up your pocket clip there. And it is uh, tip-up carry, and you do have thumb studs, and you have a flipper um, on this guy here to deploy the knife or deploy the blade, so very, very cool. See the MSRP on this guy here, it is uh, $58 even. And I know Blade HQ, when it does come out on Blade HQ, it looks like it's gonna be about $49, uh, $50. Somewhere's around there, right? Um, this one here was made in China and it's considered an everyday carry knife. There you go. So that's the specs on that. Um, you do have uh, deep carry on here. And uh, yes, you do have like a lanyard hole, um, almost like a lanyard post there on the back spacer. So there you go, lanyard junkies. All right, so let's do some size comparisons. Uh, let's look at your Spyderco Para 3. And yeah, it's definitely larger than your Para 3. Um, let's look at the Paramilitary 2 uh, by Spyderco. And the Paramilitary 2 is definitely longer in the handle. Uh, length, but the blade length is it looks about the same to me, right? Pretty damn close um, Let's look at your Ontario rat 2 if I can find it here and put that away. Here's your Ontario rat 2 Your handle length is definitely longer on your Civivi and your your uh, Blade length is longer on your Civivi. So that's that. Yeah, it is a larger knife um, full-size knife um, I would call it right uh, let's look at it compared to your uh, everyday carry sharpie here you go um, so that's a good size comparison because everybody knows the size of a sharpie right yeah all right um, let's look at it closed up there you go so you can kind of kind of gives you a gist of how far down in the pocket it goes when you carry it by the pocket clip so my thoughts on this knife right uh, we did away with the pros and cons we're doing my thoughts now so my thoughts on this knife um, I like it uh, like it reminds me a lot of this my Kubi here and I absolutely love my Kubi yeah so I really like how they did the uh, pocket clip on here if you can see yes it is a deep carry and you do have recessed screw so Civivi did ver a very nice job on that um, I do like how they have their liner here um, it's very accessible and yes they did some uh, jimping on uh, yeah jimping on your liner bar there so very nice um, I do like they included a lanyard hole and um, yeah so there you go now the blade steel on this it is d2 so very very nice i like d2 steel um, as far as a good budget steel um, they did include jimping on the back here and that's about it besides your uh liner here and your flipper so i wish i they could have added a little bit more jimping just to give a little bit more on the looks of this knife um it is right hand and left hand user so yes you can switch that pocket clip so that's gonna have to be a good thing right so that's that. The action on this knife is pretty sweet. Um, I actually, uh, usually I like to um, use a thumb hole more, but for some reason on this knife here, I just like the flipper. It works real well. It doesn't stick out too much. And uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of jimping there on your, and it's not too aggressive. It's aggressive, but not too bad. Um, yeah, I, it's great. Does the blade come centered? Yes, it does. Very, very nice. Um, so there you go. Does it drop shut? Let's see. Yeah, it drop shuts. There you go. Um, 
And I do like the, the all black, um, all black knives to me are is, is sweet. They got their emblem there, so they kept it simple. Um, no crazy billboarding going on here with Civivi. Uh, so yeah, very nice. I think they did a good job. So do I think it's worth the $49? Um, you can find it on or $50 you can find it on uh, say Blade HQ when it is available um, yeah totally you got your D2 uh, steel uh, G10 liners deep carry uh, for right hand left hand users um, I love the all the all black on this um, great action centered blade that's a well made uh, budget knife for sure um, is it in the budget budget you know friendly no it's 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 a little upgraded it's, it's just above the budget friendly but for 50 bucks yeah guys um, very good deal. That's my thoughts on this knife. What do you guys think about this knife? Do you like the Tanto on here? Um, do you like the all black? What do you guys think of the uh, pocket clip? Yeah, um, I think I forgot to mention there's no hot spots on this. You got a really good purchase and yes, you can uh, choke up on it a little bit. Not too much. Um, it's not like a super aggressive uh, choil there, but you can choke up on it and it is actually quite comfortable. So there you go. Um, <laughs> eh, there, all my thoughts are finished on it now. So let me know what you guys think about this knife. Uh, hit me up in the comments. I love talking to you guys. And uh, of course, smash that like button. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. And for you guys that have subscribed to my channel, you guys are awesome. I appreciate it. All right, that's it. You guys have a good day. Bye.